Welcome honor guests to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness and this is a comment video from work. Okay, let's get started because I'm trying to catch up so we, I can get caught up with what y'all got to say and just everything all together. Okay, who is first? Hold on y'all. Linda. Linda says he is loyal to his lady boss. There's a chance that Selena might be his boss. Uh... I guess you meant GH spoilers reveal Mason was working for a mystery boss. Yeah, they're still playing around, not really telling us who uh, the Paw Tuck boss is. But again, I'm leaning more, more and more towards Olivia all the time. Hey, Esme. Esme says, I don't like the performance of Joss and Trina kind of dull. Well, your name is Esme. So, of course, you're not going <laughs> to so of course you're not gonna like what Trina and Joss did, but no, I'm just kidding. I enjoyed the performance. Put in the comments if you felt that their performance was meh. But I liked it. I thought they were like the best ones, honestly. Them and um, TJ. But I really enjoyed it. I thought Trina's voice was amazing. Uh, Techno Primate Six Six says Brenda's been brought up a lot lately. She and Sunny met in '93. Brenda was 18 and Sonny was in his early 20s. Sonny attempted to leave Lily for Brenda until Lily told Sonny that she was pregnant. Lily was the one who told Sonny that Brenda was wearing a wire. Yep, Brenda was originally the original face of deception. Uh, at one point, she moved in with Jagger Cates. Brenda didn't get along with Karen Wexler, but was friends uh, with Robin Scorpio. Yep, I remember they were good friends. Sonny and Brenda saw each other for the first time when Brenda arrived and Sonny helped her out of the rank. Yes, Brenda has a son. He was a toddler when he was brought to her. Sonny was there when the scene played out. Yeah, but who's the daddy? And is it Dex? Is Dex her kid? So I remember her having a son, but I don't quite remember who the father was. Sabrina says, hi, Baroness, that would be cool, but more than likely not because Morgan, like Sonny, is bipolar. With that said, he would have had to be on meds. Also, Morgan loved his father like Christina. Yeah, he did. Also, if that's the case, they can't put those two together. Some have said, late, lastly, Morgan and Joss were very close. Uh, like I've been saying, why can it not be... Why can he not be who he says he is and develop the character? Just my thoughts. Um, lastly, Morgan and Joss. Well, are you talking about Dex, I assume, about why they can't just develop Dex's character? I don't know. I mean, they could just make him just like what he says he was. Right. I agree. He could just be a regular person with, you know, he had a troubled family and he joined the service and now he's working undercover or whatever. The writers, or no spoilers, has never, well, spoilers promised us, but... Nobody really promised us that Dex is related to anybody for sure. But you just know how the stories are. His story is not just going to be what he said it was. He's definitely going to be related to somebody important in town. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer says Portia's dress was my absolute favorite, although I did like Liz's a lot. And I agree. Jordan's was beautiful, as was Ava for the sparkle crowd. I think it's rare Trina doesn't look beautiful. Um, she says, I had to laugh at your sparkle comment. I had been thinking the same thing. I was thinking, was the dress cold? Yeah, wear sparkles. Then I saw one or two people without and thought they did not get the memo about the sparkles. Uh, LOL, Inspector Gadget, you're killing me. Listen, Trina looked beautiful, but I'm tired. Don't I know, Sprina people? You stay off my back. You leave me and Jennifer alone. Sprina, she looks beautiful. She absolutely did. I just don't like them. Keep putting her in those pink dresses. Don't start Taylor Swifting her out is what I'm saying. Don't start putting her, keeping her in those lollipops type colors. And yeah, I didn't like her dress, but everything else was pretty. I know it sounds weird because I didn't like her dress, but her hair was beautiful. Her makeup was on point. I don't know, maybe because I just saw her in something extremely similar at her mom's wedding. It just pretty much looked like almost the same dress from the wedding, just a darker shade of pink. I don't know. I just know that her, she could just look so beautiful in many other colors. And I want them to kind of like get her out of that pink. Just stop it with the pink. Uh, Techno says GH will fundamentally, hold on. I fundamentally shift when and if Maurice Bernard retires. GH was good before Sonny came to town. So many of the great quarter main classics. I love to see the cues yep, all at their table at the nurse's ball. Why wasn't there a cue presence? Ned and Olivia 
didn't pop in to, I don't know, represent the family. Why was that? They did show Olivia um, for a minute. They showed her when Nina got up to speak. When she was like as co-owner of the Metro Court or whatever. So, I mean, I don't know why they didn't. Make, a lot of people didn't make a red carpet entrance. Uh, Felicia's dress was beautiful. If, if you guys wanted to go back and take a look, we didn't get to see much of her dress because she had her coat on and they didn't walk the red carpet. I don't know if they were short for time. Are they are they rushing things? Considering the nurse's ball is months ahead. You know, it started months earlier than usual. I don't know why they would have rushed the red carpet. It was so many people that we should have watched, uh, saw walk that carpet. Olivia was there. The Scorpios were there. They didn't walk the carpet, um, but I didn't see Ned. I didn't see Terry. Put it in the comments if you saw Terry. I didn't even know Yuri. Like, it was just a lot. It, it was. It seemed like they rushed it a little bit as far as the fashions go. Andrea says, I was mad about Joss interrupted. That was a bit rude. I think Trina and Spencer should have had more time. Well, they're going to have more time now because they stuck on that boat with Victor. So everybody that was wishing they had more time, they got all the time. <laughs> They got more time than they probably wanted at this point. Um, let's see. Oh, and uh, the worldly responds to you and says, remember that ketchup commercial anticipation is making me wait. <laughs> I remember that. Um, Eileen says, hi, Baroness. I bet Link is going to be killed. Brooklyn is going to be blamed for it, but Blaze is the one who did it. Put it in the comments, everybody. We got a winner. You know what? I didn't think about it because we are so preoccupied with what's going on with Victor. Good job, Elaine. I absolutely and totally agree because Link is getting on everyone's nerves and Blaze is a disposable character. She's probably, I, I always said that, yes, her and Chase will be good together and fun to watch, but she's not a long-term character. They're going to kill her off really soon. This will be a great way to give us a, a storyline for Brooklyn Chase. And Chase, again, Penny, you should love this. Chase, of course, will help with the investigation. He'll probably get reinstated during the time of the investigation. Y'all know what I mean? Man, high five through the internet. You know, that's a good one, y'all. Put it in the comments. Link murdered, Brooklyn blamed, Blaze the one that did it. I love it. Good job. Uh, the Worldly says, I like that plot. Oh, she's responding to you. She says, I like that plot. Maybe the investigation can be Chase's yep, first assignment in and his return to duty. Um, and Otherworldly says, uh, Link is going to jail like Bill Cosby. <laughs> Brooklyn will keep her songs. And the press from the Dirty Tales will get Blaze a record deal. So you said Link is going to go to jail instead of being killed. And Brooklyn will get to keep her songs. And if they don't kill Link. If Link turns up, if he turns up dead, I promise you. Blaze and Brooklyn will be the two main suspects, but Brooklyn will go down for it because it'll be some kind of situation. You know how the writers play us. It'll be some type of situation to where she was the last one with them or she's not going to have a good enough alibi or something. I'll take it back. I'm sorry. I got it. Y'all know how my brain works. As a matter of fact, Ned was at the bar. Ned stood up. That's what I'm saying. They didn't walk the red carpet. He stood up when Brooklyn took the stage against Link. So Ned was there. So it was a quarter main presence. It's just the writers didn't write anything in for them. That's what it seemed like. Andrea says, I find Joss to be a little hypocrite because she's with Dex and he's working for Sonny. And she's warning Trina about Spencer. I don't know why Joss, like I know she, okay. I know everything that Spencer has done and the Esme thing and blah, blah, blah. But I don't know why she's so hard on Spencer and Trina's relationship. And I guess it's because... Spencer isn't welcoming Dex, you know, with open arms. So I get, I bet you, I bet you that if Spencer was nicer to Dex, Joss would be nicer to him. Linda says, I'm so confused about whether or not I'll be able to see this episode. I record GH on Xfinity stream um, and it recorded the preempted nonsense. This morning I checked on my ABC app and it only goes through 4-3. And it did the same thing on Xfinity Stream Search that I normally use for shows I don't record. My daughter has Hulu, so I signed in to her from my iPad Hulu app, and that went only through the third. Um, only went through four three as well. ABC usually shows episodes late at night, like you mentioned, but then I can't figure out why isn't even why isn't it even on ABC app? I'm so disappointed, but at least there is your recap, which I'm thankful for. Like you said, though, the pictures don't do it justice, and I really want to see the performances. I know, I know. Um, but yeah, the, it took them a minute to catch up after we got preempted from the president. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully everybody's all caught up because I need to get all caught up. Catherine says, so, oh, she's responding to when I said I didn't understand why I'm always tired. Like after I'm like around like a bunch of people or um, Walmart. That's why I haven't been in 10 years except for when I went for my niece. So, yeah. Um, she says, BB, I'm the same way. In some cases, I call it a gift of encouragement to be present and see people and hear them. But yes, it takes a toll. There are some that say it's highly sensitive and I'm struggling at work at the moment because of strife and uh, yeah, aggressive folks um, as we go through. You know, I think that's why I changed because I always keep a second job one way or another. But my first job, I'm pr I pretty much work alone. Um this one, I pretty much work alone as well, but the older I get, the more and more I want to, like, I cannot stand people, like, just out, it's just when they all get together, I don't know what it is about people, when they all get in a group together, they're awful, and I can't, they're exhausting, <laughs> so yes, I totally get it, um, and I appreciate y'all so much, like, trying to help me figure out, like, why I'm this way, because it's, I, I don't like to shop. That's my family. And I'm like, why don't you come with us and do this and that? No, because it's going to be people outside of us there and they're going to have something going on with them and I'm going to pick up on it and I'm going to be tired and I'm going to be emotional and I don't want to do it. Um, oh, Catherine's going to end us off. All right, you guys, I'm going to get another one out when I get home. Thanks for listening to me. Please hit the like before you leave and I'll catch y'all in the comments. <laughs>